Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs, Grow420 Guide here, and welcome back to Season 6. In today's video, we are going to be switching out our inline booster fan with our brand new Activair 4-inch inline fan, which is going to have way more CFMs than this piece of crap back here. Um, this booster fan is not actually a grow fan. This what booster fans are is they move air through ducting so they're not efficient with moving air in large quantities meaning um, a high CFM and they're not good for a fresh air exchange um, so we're gonna be getting rid of this piece of crap today we're gonna be holding on to that ducting there though and we're gonna be using that ducting with our 4 inch inline fan um, let me get the camera off the tripod and we're gonna talk about circulating air and fresh air exchange really quick we're going to be changing our intake fan today, and it's sitting low because it's our intake fan. Now, with air and fresh air exchange, cold air sits at the bottom, and hotter air rises to the top up here. So, our intake fan sits down low, and you'll notice right over here, you can actually see where it comes out of the tent, and it's just chilling. This is pulling all the air, the cold air, from my room and bringing it into the grow tent here. All this cold air is now rising up and over my plants and over the canopy and then it continues to rise and get warmer and then it exhausts out of our active air six inch inline fan right up here. Now this fan has a speed controller on it. We're able to adjust the speed of the fan so we're not always using high power because it's not necessary to always use high power. You'll also notice down here we have a speed controller for our new fan. Now I would suggest getting a speed controller because it saves on electricity and it also makes the fan a whole lot more quiet. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit about fresh air exchange. You want your intake fan sitting low, you want your outtake fan sitting high, obviously, because your, your hot air is rising, your cold air is sitting down low, you want that fresh air exchange and you don't really want your fans directly onto your plants because you can actually wind burn your plants. We have our smaller fan right up here that just kind of helps exhaust out any excess heat from our LED light, but we don't really get too much heat from our LED light here, which is awesome. This is currently our G8 450 watt, and as soon as we swap out our fan here, we are gonna bring in our G8 900 watt LED, just because we'll have a better fresh air exchange, the temps won't be as hot, and the plants will be nice and happy under all that wattage with their new fresh air. Um, other than that, let's hop right into it. We're gonna be pulling this fan out and we're gonna be taking advantage of this empty grow tent here. We're gonna clean the surface of our grow tent and we're also gonna clean out the ducting that we're gonna be using, this remaining portion here. So we're gonna start with unboxing our speed controller here. Now the reason I use Active Air fans is because they have the speed controllers. I'm not sure if other brands of fans actually have speed controllers or not, but I truly, do like having this option. So like I was saying earlier, you're able to control your speed, which also dictates how loud your fan's gonna be. So you have your off, your 100% to high range, your 70% your medium range, and your 10% in low range. Now with my outtake fan right now, my six inch active air inline fan, I'm running it about right here. Um, we're going to have to play around with my intake fan when we get this installed, but I have an idea we're going to be running it around the same area right through here. It's really no sense for me to run it on high, especially with these LED lights. Um, we just want that constant fresh air exchange. Um, and since I live literally right next to my plants, I'm literally dorm grown straight up. Um, I do want the sound rather low. I don't want the both fans being on all the way up to 100%, just being ridiculously loud, um, creating for, you know, hard sleep situations or just working environments or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's, let's open up our fan here. 
Now keep in mind, I've already opened this. This came bubble wrapped and the whole shebang. I kind of went through here just to take a look at the fan before we actually film the video here. We have these additional legs right over here that we're actually not going to be using. I don't see a point in using them. We're just going to be using the fan. And I think what I'm going to do is just set it up just like this. I don't see why we can't do that. Um, it should work, but if if that shouldn't be done, let me know in the comment section down below. Jeez, I did some research trying to figure out if we could rest the fan like this or not, and I could not find it anywhere, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it and try it out, see what happens. Um, but yeah, so most all inline fans work the same. Now you have this cone shape here, which is going to be exhausting the air out this way, and over here we have the intake portion where it's going to be pulling in the air to blow out this way. Now if we were going to set this up in the grow tent right now, all we would do is just slide it over this way, right where our old pre-existing fan would be, and you'll notice that this is the intake section where the, the fan's going to be sucking in the air. We would take our ducting here, connect it right over to this lip right here, and then our air would be blowing out this side. So since our fan is broken, we're going to save a bit of time and we're just going to unscrew this one clamp right over here. Just going to go ahead and loosen it and that should be good enough and we're going to take our knife and we're just going to cut through our ducting right here trying to make it as straight as a cut as possible that wasn't very straight now we tried and then we're just going to slide off this clamp that we were just loosening. We gotta loosen it a little more. Alright. And then we're gonna take this clamp, put it over this one. Actually we're gonna loosen it so we don't damage that ducting because we want that ducting to stay intact. We don't care about this bending that stuff because we're just going to be throwing that out. Make sure circumference is able to squeeze over this. Okay. Oh, just about. Just about. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to take our new fan. Where did that go? No, oh, right behind me. Actually, we're going to get rid of this. So before we install our new fan, we're going to pull our old fan out of this grow tent. Give us some more space to work. Just gonna go ahead and trash this complete unit because it doesn't work. And I would not recommend getting booster fans for your grow tent if I haven't said that already. So we have our old piece of ducting here that we are gonna be using for our new fan. But since this is an old piece of ducting, it is gonna be a very dirty. Lots of dust in here and dust is the number one breeding ground for spider mites. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this ducting outdoors, we're gonna use our air compressor, we're gonna blow it out, make sure all the dust is gone in there, and then we're gonna take some water and just rinse off whatever we can in there, taking a paper towel and then drying it out, making sure anything that was remaining in here, dust, spider mites, whatever, is gone. Okay, so our ducting is all cleaned out now. Now it's time to install our fan. Place our ducting through the intake pocket there. Make sure it's sitting properly. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our fan, just line it up with our ducting here. Now keep in mind, the longer your ducting is, the less CFM you're having, the more work that fan has to do with pushing air through the ducting so your CFMs are going to drop a little bit. Any turn in your ducting or any 90 degree angle is also going to cut down on CFMs. That would be the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we install this properly. Alright, so now we just have to tighten down our clamp, plug in our fan and we're basically done. So when you're tightening down your clamp, you want to make sure it is butt up against your fan there. You want to make sure it's sitting properly on the lip. 
and just start tightening away. It's gonna it's gonna be a tedious process. It's gonna take a couple minutes here. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. If it's not nice and tight, then you're you're gonna be losing a little bit of air through that seal there. So make sure it's nice and tight. You'll be getting full CFMs out of your fan. You can also even use um, ducting duct tape, which is that shiny reflective duct tape for any other seals. Like if you feel like there's a, there's a part of your ducting that's been, been cut open or punctured and is leaking, then you can take that, that duct tape and, and patch it up or, or kind of seal over this clamp if, uh, if you think that's necessary. Keep tightening and when you think you're done, just just keep tightening. Alright, let's see. Oh no, still can can go a little more. What's happening is you think you're done and and you get to a rigid point in the ducting and then it kind of collapses through that with the pressure of you putting a on this clamp here and it kind of just seals up nice and tight, then you're not able to turn it anymore. I think that's the point where I'm at right now. Nope. Still able to get some more turns out of it. So we're gonna keep going until we literally just can't turn the screwdriver anymore. Ugh. Okay, let's check this. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. That is on there nice and tight. Now let's plug in our fan here and see if she's working properly. Actually, I did forget we need to, where is it? Speed controller. So, you'll notice here it's got a plug in it. So what you do is you take the plug to your fan, plug it in down here, and then you take your speed controller and you plug it in to your wall or your outlet, and boom. You have your speed controller dialed in. You're able to control how much CFM, how much percentage you want your fan running. So right now, our four inch inline fan is running on 100%. And it is looking awesome. So this is our medium range, about 60 to 70% full power from our active air inline fan. You'll notice it got a lot quieter in here, a little more manageable to deal with, with sleeping or if I'm just in my room, um, just doing whatever, working, gaming, I'm able to kind of not notice this sound and it's still pushing enough CFM to have a fresh air exchange in the grow tent. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop it down into the low range around the 20 percentile. And this is the fan on its lowest setting. Now you'll notice the ribbons are still flailing, but we don't have too much airflow going through our fan right about now. There's absolutely no noise from it, um, but for running it on this low of a setting, I don't think I'm actually gonna do. I think I'm gonna be running it around the 60, 70% range, the medium range in the speed controller. Let's turn it back up to that. Perfect. We're gonna finish up our fan installation by just tying up our little fan pocket here. This is gonna not really do much, but it prevents any any outdoor, like say you have dogs or pests or dust floating around the grow tent outside. It's gonna help by cutting down on um, any areas where any debris or pests can actually get into your grow tent. Just gonna go ahead and tie that off. And we are done. We are gonna swap out our G8 450 watt LED for our G900 watt LED, and then that's gonna end this video.
Alrighty OG, so that pretty much wraps up this video on how I install my Active Air inline fans. We finished up by replacing our G8450 watt LED with our G8900 watt LED. And we're pretty much ready to bring our plants back into our tent here. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always OGs, subscribe so you're not missing out on any Season 6 updates. We're going to be back in here tomorrow to update you guys with the plants. We got a topping video and just a, a plain old raw update video for you guys. Peace out. I will see you guys tomorrow.